President Bashar al-Assad, you see there, smiling there, calling it historic, the event that is taking place right now, comparable, he says, to the birth of Christ. A UN official calls it a black chapter in the history of international affairs. Hi guys, I just wanted to come out here and show you a few things about Damascus. Um, I'm sure most people know, unless you're living under a rock, of the status that Damascus has been going through in the past few years. And uh, I know a lot of people wonder, is this in the Bible? Is there prophecy for Damascus being a ruinous heap? And I'm here to show you that, yes, it is. It's not fully as the Bible predicts um, an inhabitable ruinous heap, but it's on its way. And I just wanted to come here and show you kind of like, um, I just wanted to come here and show you um, the images on Google from 2010 and fast forward to now, just so you can see where we're at and how fast things are speeding up. Okay, so here we go. This is January 1st, 2010 to the end of the year, December 31st, 2010. And these are pictures I just Googled Damascus. And if I go here, uh, you can just see a few pictures of Damascus and what it looked like in 2010, or rather the images that were uploaded in 2010. Okay, let's go to 2011. Okay, still <clears throat> looking normal, like a normal city. Very much um, nightlife, a normalcy to it. <clears throat> okay, 2012. Still looks normal. Two thousand thirteen. Still looking well, I don't know what that is. Maybe someone like photoshopped a nuclear bomb. That's what I think. I don't think this is a real picture. I don't know, still looking, oh, here's one picture. So maybe this is where it just starts, the, the civil wars and all. Okay, 2014. Wow. Okay. Let's go. I don't know. It still looks normal. Okay. 2015. Okay. Do you see that? That almost looks like a ruinous heap. Oh. It's like a completely different city. And two thousand sixteen. Just did Oh, 
Isis. So there you have it guys. I just wanted to show you a picture from 2010 to 2016 and where we're at. Again, um, the Bible's clear. Let's just go to the Bible right now. Hold on. Okay. So this is Isaiah 17 and it's an oracle concerning Damascus. Behold, Damascus will cease to be a city and will become a heap of ruins. The cities of Aurora are deserted. They will be for flocks which will lie down and none will make them afraid. The fortress will disappear from Ephraim and the kingdom from Damascus and the remnant of Syria will be like the glory of the children of Israel, declares the Lord of hosts. As of right now, Damascus is still the city, Damascus, but there will come a time where it will cease to be a city because God's word is true and every single word will come true. So I just wanted to point out where in the Bible it talks about Damascus becoming a ruinous heap, and here it is, Isaiah 17. Okay, I wanted to share this with you guys. This is just speculation, but it's kind of crazy that we're talking about the, the soon destruction of Damascus. And if you read a little further, it says in, in, um, it says in verse 4, and in that day, the glory of Jacob will be brought low and the fat of his flesh will grow lean. And we all know that Jacob is a picture of Israel today, right? Because Jacob is Israel. Anyway, and it shall be as when the reaper gathers standing grain. And the church is known to be standing grain that needs to be reaped, right? So it shall be as when the reaper gathers standing grain and his arm harvests the ears. And as when one gleans the ears of grain in the valley of Rephaim, gleanings will be left in it as when an olive tree is beaten. Now, um, the olive tree is also known as Israel. And Revelation is clear that um, Israel will go through the tribulation and be beaten or struggle, right? So it goes, gleanings will be left in it as when an olive tree is beaten, two or three berries in the top of the highest bough, four or five on the branches of a fruit tree, declares the Lord God of Israel. Now, <laughs> this is so cool. If you go to Leviticus 23 and you go through the seven feasts of the Lord, and uh, I, don't, I don't know if any of you are aware of how Jesus fulfills each and every feast. So first is the Sabbath. I'm sorry. First is uh, the Passover, Feast of Fruits, Feast of Weeks, Feast of Trumpets, Day of Atonement, Feast of Booths. So um, if you go here right before Feast of Trumpets, which is known to be a picture of the rapture of the church, Right here in verse 22, it says, And when you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap your field right up to its edge, nor shall you gather the gleanings after your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and for the sojourner. I am the Lord your God. I think it's very interesting that it's very, this exact picture is just like Isaiah, Isaiah 17's picture of leaving the gleanings gleanings will be left, that it makes me wonder if the rapture of the church is going to happen right about the time that Damascus be literally become, ceases to be a city. Just some thought. I, I just thought that was really, really interesting, and there, is, there seems to be a connection there, but I just wanted to throw it out there and let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. Take care.